Yeah, hi there and welcome to this uh, follow-up video of my uh, review of the ZD985 uh, desoldering gun uh, or desoldering station. And uh, as you saw in my previous video, uh, this thing is just too cheap, basically. And I'm not talking about how much I paid for it, because I paid uh, quite a lot of money. But uh, the build quality is just too cheap. As you saw in my previous video, there are problems with the gun itself. Uh, the trigger is uh, not working well and uh, the, the, the holder is, is very loose and uh, I think it's going to break very very quickly if uh, we don't fix it immediately. Another issue that, that I have with this one is that uh, the switch mode power supply that is used internally is uh, humming really really loudly, really badly. And um, I was thinking of fixing that, uh, but I'm not going to do it. I think it's still working fine. I think it's just a transformer that is vibrating. But of course this can be fixed by uh, removing it from the PCB and uh, dipping it in lacquer. But I think I can live with that. I'm not going to use this T-soldering gun all that often, so uh, I'll just leave that as is. But uh, definitely the two things that I'm going to fix in this video is uh, the, the, the holder here, which is too flimsy, and uh, the problem that I have with the trigger in, in the gun here. It's really unfortunate that there's something that I just bought as new already is uh, that crappy, but this is typical Chinese. And they make something 99% working and then the last couple of percent is uh, screwing up the whole product. And uh, you can see it here very clearly because uh, it has some very few very minor issues that are really really annoying. And uh, considering the amount of money they have spent on plastic molding and tooling costs and stuff like that, it's really ridiculous that they don't spend another two weeks or something to iron out those little uh, last details. Uh, but okay, that is just my private personal opinion, but this is so typical China. They just fuck it up in the last minute. So anyway, let's just take this thing downstairs and uh, let's do the modifications. So first I'm going to insert some screws instead of the plastic tabs that I've broken off. And uh, I drill right through the gun to make a strong fit. Next I found a small aluminium strip that I had left over from another project. I basically just bend it and uh, screwed it in. Getting it all together was a bit tricky, but I got there in the end. I'm using lock nuts so it doesn't fall apart again, but that doesn't make assembly easier. And that's it, done. Okay, yeah, so I got everything back together, finally. And um, I think the conclusion is that this machine works, but I wouldn't have bought it if I knew how much trouble it was. The gun from the start is not working properly. Um, at least mine didn't. There's a terrible howl, the mechanically. It's not very strong down here. And I had to put a bracket here by myself. 
Um, apart from that, the instructions about how to uh, assemble and put in the filter after you uh, change it is, is, is not in the instruction manual. It, it doesn't say anything. It's very lacking in that information. And uh, I think for my use, although I don't need it much, I still think it's too cheap. I don't get it. You know, it was quite expensive. And uh, to be fair, I would have paid a little bit more to get it working 100% instead of this uh, typical Chinese crap attitude to production. Yeah, I'm really pissed off right now. And maybe over time I'm going to like it, but as it is right now, I just think for the price it's not worth it. The quality is really cheap, particularly the, particularly the gun is very cheap, uh, but the price wasn't. So uh, I cannot recommend this machine.